What's up? What's up? What's hello. up? Hello. Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Welcome to the live. Welcome. I am in. Hi. Uh, my name is Joanne, and Hi. Uh, she's Rachel. I'm Welcome Rachel. to Word on the Street. All right. Okay. We're gonna wait for a few more people to come in first before we start the stream. So yeah. Please share the stream and tell your friends to share the stream. Like and share, yeah. like and share. We're going to be talking about K-pop, as you can tell. And our guests will be joining us very soon. So yeah, as you can see, John and I are both in a very nice world. So I'm in my Animal Crossing world. And, and I'm, in, John, where are you? I'm in San Francisco, in a diner. Yeah. <laughs> Hi. All right. Hello. Pauline. Hello everybody. Hi Joanne. Hello Kuku. Hi Reming. Hello, hello. All right. Um, uh, in case you didn't know, this is Word on the Street. Uh, once again, I'm Joanne and she's Rachel. And uh, today we're going to talk about K-pop. So mm. K-pop is this huge thing and um, everyone knows about it, right? But Word on the Street is that what's so great about it anyway so for me at least, um, I think maybe some adults or so as well, like we don't really understand what's the whole phenomena around K-pop. So maybe Rachel can let me know more about it. Okay, first I need to I need to clarify why I'm here on this show. It's because I have been outed to my colleagues as a closet K-pop fan. <laughs> so apparently so I am a secret K-pop fan. I I I like BTS. Come Div, I'm admitting it publicly, but I really like BTS. Uh, I grew up with a bit of K-pop with Shiny, DBSK and stuff like that. So right. I think there are a lot of interesting things about K-pop. So like the dancing, the singing and the styling and the visuals and the pretty boys and the pretty girls, right? Yeah. But I think it is the fans, the fans that is what makes the K-pop phenomenon so interesting and so great mm. because you hear so many things about them, right? But wait, Chok Ah, Juan, you yeah. know what a fandom is? Uh... No. <laughs> you don't know what a fandom is? Okay, so if I'm a fan of you, Juan, right. I'm in the Juan fandom. So like BTS, the fans of BTS are called ARMY, right? Yeah. So for you, what, what would your fandom name be called? The the Juan Opinions. Yeah. <laughs> okay. No way. Alright, anyway, uh, you seem to know a lot about K-pop, uh, Rachel. Um... And then for me, like, I've only heard, like, a lot of negative things. Um, I heard, like, you know, they can be very rude and aggressive, especially when it comes to people that don't necessarily agree with, like, their K-pop stance or whatsoever. So, like, I'm here to discuss, like, with an open mind. And um, who better to talk about this? Uh, K-pop fan himself, Gerald Ko from Night7. Uh, and uh, let's all welcome Gerald Ko. Okay. Okay, let's wait for let's wait for the virtual applause. Please, you can send a clap in the chat to welcome him. Hi, Gerald. What's up, Gerald? Hello. Hi, hi Gerald. guys. Hi, How's hi. Everything? How are yeah. you? You, you Hello. seem to be playing Animal Crossing. Yes, hi, I'm playing guys. a lot of Animal Crossing. I stopped the bit already, lah, because you know, I I felt very demoralized. <laughs> I I could yeah. actually do like a separate whole thing with you guys on Animal Crossing, I got like, I mean, I've been hooked on the game for a long time already. Oh my god, so, yeah. really? <laughs> no, no, I got but demoralized anyway. by seeing my colleagues like very pretty islands. So, oh, yeah. right. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. The terraforming so, actually scares me a little bit. But today we're talking about K-pop, right? I mean, mm -hmm. uh, it's the reason why, why you guys are talking to me today. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So I think to give the audience a brief introduction about you first. So Gerald over here is a 97 DJ. He's been a DJ for over 10 years now. I think some of you might know him as Boy Thunder, right? <laughs> so yeah, um, he's also a really big fan of K-pop. So before we start this, uh, before we start this, uh, Gerald, I heard your favorite K-pop group is One Na One, right? Yes. Okay, yes. So That's why in the you... background you can see. <laughs> this is actually the scene at the last concert 
the therefore concert. Uh, okay, but anyway, I like to disclaim something. So you know, uh, how big a K-pop fan you are doesn't. It's it's you you cannot say uh, like, you know, someone's a big K-pop fan or this person must be a big K-pop fan or this person is not very much a K-pop fan. As long as you you enjoy, you know, like 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 uh, being part and and enjoy, you know, all the videos that they put up. Uh, you can be a K-pop fan. You don't actually have to have a lot of merchandise to be a K-pop mm. fan as well. Uh, I I deep dive into this whole um, fandom that you were saying just now, mm. just about two years ago only, or maybe a, a year and a half ago. So mm. I don't think I am like a big K-pop fan, but uh, I've been quite sucked in lah into this big rabbit hole. Mm-mm-mm. I think it always starts with appreciating the music first, right? <laughs> I guess so. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, wait, before we start, so can you... Name the the members of 101 from the whoa. oldest, the youngest. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I I know. So, so this, this is a fan chant thing that people will do at concerts. Uh, I I know the members, but I, I, can, I just cannot. Okay, so I, I tell you a story. So this one time I, I tried to like learn a fan chant and I did it perfectly. So I remember everything. Then I went to a concert. Okay, this was a BTS concert. Uh, and... Everyone was just shouting the fan chant at this really fast speed. I just gave up halfway. It's not that I don't know, but just that, you know, it was too daunting. But uh, yeah, if you ask me to name the BTS members, yes, definitely I can. The 101 members I can as well, but I can't really remember like from, from oldest to youngest because it's got 11 members. Uh. Um, but, but of course, you don't want me to do that right now. <laughs> Okay, okay, can, can. I have no idea who you guys are talking about, but anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, by the end of this interview, let's try and get Joan to actually at least know one person from K-pop. Yes. Yeah, yeah, I think can. Can one, can one. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I mean, I actually, I just want to know, Jera, like, um, for you yourself, like, personally, like, uh, I mean, you said you weren't the biggest K-pop fan, like, um, but, like, how actually did you deep dive and... Like personally, how did you become a K-pop fan? Like, what was the story that you know you could share? Right. So, about two a year and a half or two years ago, when there was the first uh, Hallyu Pop Fest, I don't know if you guys know about yeah, that. Yeah. Um, you know, they, it was nope. a festival where they had a lot of different. It was a festival that <laughs> where they had a lot of different uh, bands who came down. And before that, I was zero zilch and don't know anything about K-pop. So a, lo- a few of my colleagues actually told me you have to actually go to this concert because you know Night was giving away tickets. Give- we were giving away tickets, and um, they had a few spare ones. So I, I, they invited me over, and I was like, okay, let me just try. Uh, I went to the concert. Uh, uh, everyone around me was screaming, and it was the f- okay. I've been to a lot of concerts before, but that was like my first K-pop concert. The um, the atmosphere is a lot different from the other concerts I go to because um, at any given breath or second, um, the fans will be screaming. Uh, mm. and, and every time when the camera pans to any person on stage, they just, I mean, different pockets of, of the audience will be screaming. So, so I went there and then when 101 came on, uh, it was the dance that actually caught my eye. Right. It wasn't very much. I mean, okay, the music, yes, of course, but of course, you know, before that, I was unfamiliar at all. When when they started dancing, I I literally sat up, and I looked around, and I asked my wife as well as her friend, "What is this thing that they're holding?" It was the light stick, and they all came in sync. I was like, "What sorcery is this?" <laughs> so, so, so I I went home with the whole idea of. K-pop being such a well choreographed dance routine mm. where they bring this whole act to different countries. And I went home, I started watching videos, I started watching reality TV shows of them, I started right. watching in dorms, uh, how they how they you know live their lives. I was introduced to this thing called um, Produce 101, of which had a bit of a uh, controversy after a while. But I was so soaked into this this whole competition that where, you know, I mean, of, of course, how 101 was born. Uh, and that was how I started, um, you know, my journey into K-pop. And uh, after that, you know, I, I got to know Victor and I got to know Twice, I got to know Blackpink. Mm. And then I, I got my radio station's boss to actually say, hey, you know what, we should actually start playing um, K-pop as well. And, and um, we did. 
in fact, you know, it, we did a huge BTS um, get together at Bookies Plus as well, and that was just phenomenal. We've not seen anything like that before on nine eight seven, and that was how I got to keep up, lah. Mm-hmm. Okay. 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 All right. Yeah. Um, so, like, um, I was just wondering because sometimes it can get quite hardcore, right? Right. I think um, that's how I get my negative perception about um <laughs> the K-pop fandom. Uh, it can be quite hardcore, lah. Like um. Uh, like you gonna something yeah, that time, right? Yeah. 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 And um. I was just trying to recall like this experience, this story I had. Um, like this local band, um, got flame. Is that the right word to use? Mm. Flame, um, because they released a single and then it sounds similar to one of, uh, K-pop artists or K-pop idol song, and then uh, they actually had like one of the K-pop stan accounts on Instagram like comment on their post and be like. Uh, you are stealing songs from the K-pop, blah, blah, blah. And then it got into quite a bit of a heated argument with other people from the local music scene as well. So that was from my experience of what I know about this this mm. fandom. So maybe you can um, help me understand this, I think. Right. But I think um, whether or not, you know, it's from K-pop, if the band, if whatever band that was actually did, you know, steal a line or steal like a like a uh, you know like, like a tune you know from any mm. other band I, I think fans could actually also you know like like say something i mean it's not just k-pop uh, mm. a lot of people actually slammed at sheeran you know when mm. and he got a lawsuit after that mm. so about the negativity of of um k-pop um th- there are you know w- we're gonna actually discuss this for for a few hours if we were to allow it but um I have, I have also, well, my own personal experience was actually just, um, I don't think, I don't think we can actually, you know, like pinpoint and say this is because of K-pop. This mm. is a K-pop fan who's doing all these things. I mean, any, anybody, if you're human, if you're not happy with something, you, you could say something. And if you're very happy and you're very, you know, you're very strong willed about something, you, you, you would fight for your rights as well, right? Mm-hmm. But there was one time when, um, I okay, so th- this is just a, a separate issue, and and I I was quite thrown off af- uh, after this for a little bit, but of course you know I've came back on again. Uh, so I'm a DJ, right? And I I go on on social media and I say that you know I I stand this band, mm. and I I, I when, when I stand something as well, you know I I would I would ask people you know for like why why are you doing this you know just stop being a fake fan mm-hmm. so me as a genuine new fan you know I, I i was like whoa okay maybe i shouldn't even like say anything on social media because mm. you know it, it might trigger somebody to actually think that i'm just trying to get this for for fame mm. but i wasn't i was really trying to really know more about twice just saying <laughs> so yeah 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 so, so, uh, and then after that, you know, I, I start talking about different bands as well. And then that's where they go, look, you know, he's not really a BTS fan. He's talking about other bands as well. You know, he's a fake and stuff like that. So I guess that, that kind of thing was, uh, you know, a little bit uncomfortable for me when, when I first started out. But I slowly begin to realize why, because... Um, I mean, as a radio DJ, I try to actually feature as many bands as I can. Uh, whether or not I really do... St- when you say stand, it means, you know, buy merchandise, uh, l- mm. watch their, their shows, uh, do everything, uh, live and breathe that band, right? But yeah. I, 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 don't, I don't do that for every band, but I would like to actually feature more bands on my social platforms as well as on, on, on radio. So I, I could understand why, because when people actually, for, you know, put their lives and their soul and their money on a certain band, Mm -hmm. they might get angry if someone else is Mm. just trying to do this Mm. out of clout. Right. Mm -mm -mm. So that's probably, yes. Yeah, yeah. In something. So you feel the the passion about it, right? I think also that's why they they are known to be pretty hardcore, right? Yeah, as in just now I was saying that I'm a closet K-pop fan. So the reason why I'm a closet K-pop fan is actually because I'm a bit paise. Because I know that there's a... There's a, I won't say stigma, but there's a perception that they are like a little bit hardcore, which is why I like 
a bit embarrassed mm. to at first admit that I was a BTS fan. Right. Yeah, because, you know, they have this power, they have this reputation of being so... Um, they have this power to move like music charts, you know, control the Twitter trends, uh, buy out billboards and stuff like that because of the numbers, right? Yeah, yeah but um, I think uh, this also reminds me of that time I I think I was at the airport, just just casually at the airport, and then I saw a really, really huge crowd of a lot, a lot of people rushing and a lot of girls just rushing to see someone at the airport. And then I took a video and then I put it on Twitter and I was like, wow, what's going on at the airport? Who is, who's here, ah? And then one hour later, I checked my phone, right? And a lot of people just started spamming me, spamming my mentions, like replying and saying, how can you not know who this is? This is, uh, this is K-pop group. This is, this is. I was like, huh, I just asked only. <laughs> I just, <laughs> I, I I just asked only. I understand that. I mean, yeah, yeah. Uh, but sometimes, you know, like fans, I mean, I, I'm, I'm in the position of a fan as well. You know, mm. we get quite excited. Mm. So... Sometimes, you know, when you get excited, I mean, not only just about K-pop, when you get excited over something, you might say say things out of excitement yes. with no malice. It's just, how can you not know? You know, like, for example, someone says, I don't know, I can't, I can't think of a, a thing right now. Like, if I give you chicken rice and then you go like, is this duck or chicken? <laughs> and you're very hungry. How, how, you, how do you not know? You know, it's, it's chicken rice. So don't, don't, don't take it to heart. You know, it's uh, unless they tell you like, oh, you know what, you shouldn't be a fan of this band because I like this band. Now, that's when you you remove toxic people like that and just, mm. you just ignore. <laughs> right, right, right. right. Yeah. right. I think it's just a bit intimidating. Lo. Yeah. Mm. yeah. But then there's also the positive stuff la, which we'll talk about later, right? Right. <laughs> but I, I just want to know, like, is there a reason like why they behave this way? Like, why, mm. what is it about, about this whole thing that, that make them behave like this? Um... Okay, I, I will say it as myself. Mm-hmm. Um, I and 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 I can't say for for all K-pop fans. Yeah, yeah. But um, when when you when you're a fan, you you know of of anything, you invest your time in it. Mm-hmm. You know, it doesn't need to be you. You don't need to be a K-pop fan to to go crazy over something. You could be a soccer fan as well. You could be a football fan. I've mm-hmm. seen like mm-hmm. football fanatics, you know, going crazy at each other if. If someone else says say something bad about their team, yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know, you know what I'm trying to say. So, yeah, yeah. So because you invest a lot of time, you invest a lot of patience, you invest a lot of some in certain cases money in it. Uh, you 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 get very angry when people say bad things about what you believe in. Mm-hmm. So, um, I guess if you're being triggered, most people don't just stay still, unless mm-hmm. you get, unless I mean. Of course, if you don't get triggered and you and you react out of nothing, then I guess that's that's not really cool. Lah. But most of the time, I see uh, that you know people get triggered only when fans get triggered. That's when they react. Mm-hmm. And I, of course, um, we, we we I don't think we can fault that. You yeah, know, if yeah. you're if you really no, believe yeah. in something, you, just, you really want to uh, well d- defend something that you believe in. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. That's understandable. <clears throat> yeah. So. I think maybe could this also be why like sometimes interactions between K-pop fandoms right and people outside the K-pop fandoms who are unfamiliar to this culture turn out to be quite negative, you know. I so guess it's so. Like, yeah, yeah, because they are they are they don't understand where they're coming mm. from, right? And then sometimes the 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 way they talk also doesn't come off quite right, <laughs> right? Mm. So if yeah. so, right, should the world adapt or should the K-pop fans tone down? <laughs> yeah. If someone talks about your mother, you cannot, you cannot not react, right? Mm. <laughs> so, I mean, but of course, the how you react is a different thing. Uh, you know, I I always believe in positivity. If someone wants to trigger you, stay mm. stay low, protect what you love, and and don't don't keep don't stop loving what you love. Uh, and 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 if if you are returning a punch mm. for the sake of returning a punch then I guess you know that's a little bit wrong and you know the, I, I've seen a lot of positivity from, from K-pop fandoms as well and maybe you know like you get that energy from, from there uh, you don't have to worry about you know other people trying to say bad things about whatever you believe in yeah okay. I, I, I actually I actually got this experience as well over at the BTS concert mm. um to to a non fan, right? They might 
they might not understand it. But I was already a fan already before I could try, I could understand. And that is, when they go to a concert, they're really crazy and you cannot fault them for that. So at the BTS concert, I was at the standing pen mm. and I looked around. There were only, in my pen, right, there were only three boys and oh. I was one of them. Oh no. So the other two, of course, had to follow their girlfriends, right? And it was really crowded and it was dark and then suddenly they started running to the stage area and I was like, oh my god, okay, I better stay stay back <laughs> against the railings because if not, I might touch somebody. <laughs> I'm in a film. Yeah. So so when when if, if people say I'm not they're so crazy, you know, why are they screaming like like mad dogs? I don't think you can stop them. If you go to a, a football, you know, match yeah, I can't stop you from shouting yeah. your your for your team as well. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. That's I mean, true. you pay you pay money to enjoy the experience fun, anyway. Yeah. 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 yeah, 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 yeah. All right. Um, maybe we can take a look at the comment section and and pull out some some questions from from people that are watching the live. Oh my god! Someone mentioned Xinhua. Hi, Jasmine. Xinhua. Yes, I know Xinhua. that. Xinhua. Eh? Xinhua is great. <laughs> I know. Reply one nine nine seven. Okay, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's look. Let's read some comments. I think there are a few, right? Yeah. Um. Uh. Okay, so Joanne says, "There's the, Joanne says I've been to some events to see grannies with neon pink hair supporting their otas. <laughs> Age don't define. It's true. Of course. Yeah, it's really true. There's this TikTok. Um. Uh. I don't know if you you know, but there's this TikTok. Uh guy who who does like um tiktoks with his mom in in the u.s i think his filipino mom and it's like name that celebrity and she knows all the new (laughs) k-pop she knows blackpink she knows twice she knows red velvet i think it's really very cute so yeah and yeah. you know, from, from what is this joanne joanne was the one said it right uh yes. the eight doesn't define i i would like to also say you know that you know when I first dabble into k-pop I had like a few tweets coming in going like, what, Gerald, you like K-pop, you're gay. Well, I Uh I am married, happily married. um, But then again, so what if you're gay, right? I mean, Mm. and and, and another thing is, it doesn't mean that, you know, only gays can like K-pop. That's really ridiculous and and really immature for you to, for for that person to say that. Uh, When, when, when I appreciate K-pop it's not because oh wow this girl is damn cute or like this guy is damn handsome I think it's the whole ecosphere of 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 you know falling into this hole that made me like K-pop it's not just the music it's not just um, the dancers it's more than that and I'll tell you more later on I guess mm, 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 mm. okay um, there's a comment that asked me by Tui Wen. Juwan, what do you think of K-pop music? And I also want to, I want to take a stand and say that I don't have anything against K-pop music. Um, I think it's nice. Like, I'm a fan of music in different forms, so I, I can appreciate K-pop music. And also, I'm actually a fan of not K-pop music, but other Korean artists. Like, I like Korean R&B mm-hmm. and, and Korean hip-hop. So, okay. yeah, so, like, I, I appreciate those stuff. Uh, but I think for me, what I'm trying to understand tonight is just the whole idea of the fandom. Mm. Um, not really about the music because I, I can appreciate the music as well and I like it. So I just want to know more about the fandom and, and how it is. Lah. And Mm-mm. I think so far, I've been learning more lo- about it. And and um, want to see any more comments, Rachel? I yeah. see Juan sl- slowly, you know, like tiptoeing, making sure he doesn't fall into a pit. <laughs> 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 I love the music. <laughs> but yeah, the, the music's interesting. The, the funny thing about K-pop music as well is that I, I actually don't understand a single word. Mm. Uh, right. But but um, I don't know if you, you guys watch this Netflix show. It's called Explained. And oh, yes, yes. I've seen the episode. It's great. Mm. And, it's a, and this one's about K-pop. And there's this... F- um, um, so, well, well, well. Uh, how do I put this? There's this formula to to keep up music. It's not just one genre. There's rap. There's there's hip hop. There's everything else. So I guess you know that caters to a lot of different people as well. So, uh, yeah, it, 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 music really transcends, uh, you know, different races and and different beliefs and cultures yeah. as well. Because it, it, you you don't have to understand the lyrics to to appreciate hip hop. Yeah, essentially, it's universal anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, 
Cool. Um, Ernie, we're going to move to our next segment. And uh, this one, it's called Keyboard Warriors. So, yeah, basically Ooh. what we're going to do is we're going to take like five random tweets and comments. And um, of course, they are related to the topic that we are talking about tonight. Lah. And um, we're just going to discuss it among the three of us. And um, shall we pull out the first tweet? Sure. Keyboard right. Warriors. Woo woo. Someone said K-pop is a black hole of happiness. <laughs> you are not wrong, Sarah. <laughs> okay. Uh, yes. I'm going to try and... Hold on. Uh, let me just... Okay. See the... I think the screen is a little bit too small. Okay, why don't I help you out here, Gerald? Mm. Um, this... Oh, uh, okay. So it says... To be honest, the downside of K-pop, in my opinion... One is that okay, I can... mostly everyone looks very similar and it takes a lot of time and effort to recognize them. Okay. And second <laughs> is the fans. Definitely the mm. fans. So, mm. yeah, maybe Gerald can... What do you think about this tweet? Okay. I mean, I think we have uh, talked a little bit about the fans already. There, uh-huh. are, there are fans who are really ultra excited and, um, you know, uh, overly excited over a certain thing. And I, 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 I don't think that it's wrong, but... I only think it's wrong if, let's say, you know, they do something that will hurt another person. Like malicious, right. uh. Yeah, malicious comments and stuff yeah. like that. But if a fan is just going crazy, buying a lot of stuff, I think that's that's fine. You know, it's the money is hers or his. You know, we have nothing. We we shouldn't have anything to say about that. Uh, okay, so everyone looking very similar. Uh. Well, um, mm. <laughs> if you're unfamiliar with something, definitely the things will be familiar as well. I've got mm. two dogs at home right now. Um, <laughs> if if I were, it was going to be my first time looking at my two dogs, I wouldn't know who is who, which is mm. which. But <laughs> after a while, you would know. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if I'm talk- what I'm talking is like... No, it makes sense. It makes sense. It's like, it's like you... you... It's like at first I also don't know BTS, they all look the same to me. But then when you go and watch like yeah. maybe their variety shows or the behind the scenes thing, then you can tell. Because yeah. then you get to know them as people, ma. Mm. Correct. Yeah. Correct. If you put the whole mothership team together, <laughs> all, they all look the same also. Yeah, yeah me and Rachel look alike. Look A lot of people so really alike, confuse man. me and Rachel. Yeah, we are like twins. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, there's the next the next uh comment. Okay, let me I can't read the It's the set. Okay. It's sad that people spend so much of their time hating on a group instead of focusing on spreading positivity about their own favorite group. Mm. Mm. Wow, I've got a lot to say about this, man. Mm, come, come, like. Okay, so... Uh, okay, this is damn controversial, but... Wow. I will try and say Lucy. this in code. Okay? So... Um, <laughs> well, this is very scary. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Compose your thoughts. <laughs> uh, well, recently there was there there. Well, maybe within the last year, um, there were a few like bands who got into some controversy, mm. and um, it would it would be about like maybe one team member of the band who either had to leave or had to. Um, apologize or whatsoever mm. and I really cannot take it when when uh, wow, this is very difficult to say when people try and slam the group because of that ah uh, mm. okay okay and so it's- yeah and I'm a multi stan, but there are some solo stands as well who would do that. You know, they 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 like a band, uh, a member of the band, and and because unfortunately, you know, whether or not that band member got sabot or whatever, um, got into trouble, uh, then maybe you know they, they they might go a little bit malicious and mm-hmm. they might they might say things, and I, I I don't think that that should be the spirit of yeah. how yeah. things should go. You guys understand what I'm trying to say? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. like and there was one and when there was one I mean there is one right now uh, a group recently happened and and I was just very uncomfortable with the whole situation. Mm, mm. I won't okay. say who lah. I won't say which. But in okay. the comments maybe some of you will say something already. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the next okay. question next one. Hey, sorry, the next tweet um can we do some black magic to sabotage beat 
Yes come back and get some health hazard for JK and Taehyung would be amazing. Cancer sounds good. That's horrible. Uh, okay, uh, can can you explain what this <laughs> mean actually? Okay, uh, J- J- JK and Taehyung. So JK means Jungkook and Taehyung okay. is Taehyung. So they are she- members of the BTS. Oh, right, right, right. I think okay. the person who tweeted this is a Blackpink fan, it seems, because she wants to kiss Jenny's feet. Oh, wow. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, first and foremost, you kissing someone's feet is just disgusting already. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, okay, sorry. I, I might say... <laughs> I might go all vulgar, but... I mean, this is an example of malicious, malicious comments. Right, right. Uh, comments that would really hurt people. Um... And 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 keyboard warrior comments, you know. Mm, yeah. Uh, I I am not for this completely. I mean, you you don't need to be a normal human being to be hurt by this. Uh, recently, you know, on Netflix as well, I watched this show called Terrace House and mm, Terrace House. And um, the wrestler died. Yeah. Because she's re- she was reading all these yeah. different things. Mm. Yeah. If you don't like somebody, just don't like it. You know. Mm-hmm. Are you trying to do that for likes? Or are you trying to do that? To make yourself sound better. Or feel powerful. Or are, are you intent yeah. to be a murderer? You mm. know, whenever you say something on, online as well, um, it really does hurt. And and there was one time as well, you know, a, a fan actually asked me, like, uh, actually tweeted to me, uh, you know, Gerald shouldn't comment on the certain thing, you know, that he doesn't believe in. You know, he's like he's like a public figure. He should accept what he's supposed to... to, to he, he should accept what people say about him. Mm. Uh, that That is very unhealthy, lah. Right, mm. and mm. that's that's for me. But you know, these K-pop bands and and uh, boy, I mean K-pop groups, as well as you know soloists whatsoever, they they shouldn't be receiving these things. You know, it's not easy to actually get to where they get. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. They, they might be they might be um, reaping what they've sown from from a long time ago, but they they really did you know like work very hard. You know, there are thousands and thousands of young boys and girls. This morning, I got a tweet from a DM from somebody who told me that, you know, uh, there should always be positivity mm. Mm. K-pop. You know, these these young boys and girls, they, they some of them, you know, they, they take years to debut. And when they do, of course, you know, it's not easy from then. Yeah, as well. yeah. Well, yeah. They actually didn't debut. You know, mm. are, are they... Are they um, planktons in the sea, they're human beings as well. Yeah, yeah. exactly. And, yeah. And, and for like BTS, although they, you know, I mean, they're, they're popular, they're, they're big, but are you trying to, to get some money from them by saying these things? If, if mm. you don't know what you want to do. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm yeah, a yeah. Gerald stand now. <laughs> What's your... I want to go and visit fan, your cafe now. Fandom call. Behind you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah. I th- Okay, okay, let's go on something more positive right now. Ooh. <laughs> okay, I let me read this. I love K-pop because they are people who made my world smile uh, and Aww. who made me more competitive and brave in things and make me love myself instead of always loving someone that cannot love you back as well. I think there's a BTS fan. Yes, I know, right? <laughs> <laughs> it's all about loving yourself. Uh, that, that, that's, 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 that's cool, you know? Um, when When you... When you, whatever you do, uh, uh, always remember that, you know, life is not easy. And mm. I guess take courage in, in that when you watch how these bands train for their comebacks. It's not easy, you know, how, how they have to leave their family members to actually stay in a dorm. Mm. And you don't even see their family members for maybe over a year. Right. Uh, they can't even, like, really meet their friends. Mm. So, so, yeah, take Take comfort in, in all those stories as well, you know, when you when you dabble around K-pop. And I'm very happy that this person, I don't know who, who are you, but um, you tweeted this about so you know, how comment. K-pop made you smile. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so K-pop makes me feel... Oh, kind of good. No, I mean... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, so I... I, for, for me, it's it's all about the um, the shows that I watch on YouTube. You know, mm. like 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 their reality TV shows, how they are like off stage, mm. how they're like with, with their families, how they're like you know when they do all those variety shows as well. It's stuff like that 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 
resonates a little bit with me as well because it wasn't a, an, an easy road for me to actually become a radio DJ. And, and I see some similarities. I mean, I'm not as handsome as them. I'm, I'm very yeah. far. But, but the, <laughs> the courage to take that step, the, the hard work you put in to actually be what you are today, right. I, I see that, I see myself in, in that. And, and I follow through, you know, like a K-pop group in that way. And when they succeed, when they receive awards, when, when their fans, you know, uh, who, who are there for them, uh, be it, you know, at concerts, when I see people screaming, stuff like that, that makes me happy. All right. Mm-hmm. Okay. I, I guess for me, it's not just the music, not just the dance, not just how they are. It's, it's a whole K-pop ecosphere of how they're being marketed as well. And I think it's a really good marketing technique that they, <laughs> they're doing there in mm. Korea. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Well. Yeah. So I think moving back to um, how the public perceives K-pop, right? So we've been talking about, you see, like just now you were saying there's a lot of negative perception and stuff like that about K-pop because they've only seen the bad side, right? The fandoms. But do you think they, they choose to look at the bad side only, the public look at the bad side only, and they don't they ignore the good things that they've done? So, like, for example, um, BTS um, Army, right, they just um, raised $1.3 million for the Black, Life move, uh, the Black Lives Matter movement mm. because they wanted to match BTS's contribution to that. So that was quite, quite a huge thing. You know, do you think that you, the public chooses to ignore that? I, I think it's it's more fun to look at something that's negative. Mm. I think to to bring out, you know, um, conversations, and it is not difficult for people to actually fall into that category. Uh, but yes, there are so many things that you know K-pop fans have done to really spread the positivity, and as simple as, I mean, I've I've been to to a lot of. Uh, cafes right like mm. what was it called like they like you go to a cafe and then and then you buy a drink mm-hmm. and then they give you like these these um, pay it forward is it cups, cups events oh, yes oh, <laughs> so, have. yeah and they don't they, they 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 do this out of love you know they they don't expect you to to give them money mm. uh, the money goes to the cafe but they don't own the cafe so so these are little positive things that you know people do, and and it's about spreading spreading you know that 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 uh, love for 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 the band you know in in different ways. Mm-hmm. Uh, I went to um, Go Chok Sky Dome last was it last year? Yeah, last year. In Korea. Because yeah, in Korea, and and I I was a very big fan of X One uh, because I followed the produce series as well, and um, that was supposed to be like that supposedly like their last time they will be on stage. But in the end, they just deleted them off the list and they didn't perform at all. But I was when I was there, uh, I was just so surreal when fans who I can't even really understand, I, I mean, I can't understand Korean. And because I'm, I was tweeting, you know, uh, on the way on Twitter and everything, um, we, I had like a few Korean fans who just crowded around me and started speaking to me in Korean. Mm. And I was just lucky that, you know, I, I had a friend who could kind of like translate and they could read, they could speak a little bit of English. And they started giving me, um, you know, like cup sleeves, photo oh. cards. And I don't know them at all. So, I mean, these, these are little, small little things that, you know, fans do. Mm. But these are positive things, you know. They, they, they're they not so. there to earn your money. They're not there to, you know, I want to give you this thing, but it's five, $15. No, they, they don't do that. Mm-hmm. If they do that, then okay, that's not a story. But uh, from, from the many <laughs> events I've been to, no. You know, they're free, free to give away stuff. Right. And it's what you were saying as well for the Black, Life Mat- Black Lives Matter movement. Um, just a click of the finger. They all came together. They support, um, I mean, they support the movement. They support how, how BTF has, BTS has done. I think mm. that's really something really good and something yeah. really great. Right. Um, I guess we, we should celebrate as well. Mm. Yeah, the love they have for this group puts yeah. them together like that. And, and I really think it's not because of the love of BTS. I think it's because, you know, BTS paved the way mm. and they have a good heart to actually support something that they, 
they believe in and something mm. positive as well. So, so that's something to 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 like influence. Well. Yeah. Yes. So it's mm. like it's good on on BTS and also because like they're using their platform to spread like positive change and mm. and um the good word of positivity as well, uh, right? Mm. Yeah. yeah. Then, um, Jared, I just want to ask, right? I mean, so since I've been hearing some positive stories or so, like I want to know, like. Um, what have you like learned or gained from being a part of a fandom, mm. like so mm. far? Okay, uh, this is this is not about um, K-pop now, but I started <laughs> my radio journey with One Direction. Oh, right. okay. And it was my first time, um, you know, like getting to know how fandoms work, and all I can say is, don't mess with any fandom. Mm. Um, <laughs> okay. Fortunately, I became part of the fandom because you know I I was interested in 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 how they think because that's how I actually got to know a little bit more. That's that's my research in in my field, right? I need to know what fans are thinking. I need to know what they like, and therefore you know that's how I can actually present better on on radio as well. Uh, and and I I feel that um, my experience in the fandom is ninety percent positive. Okay. Because it's, I, I see a lot of these young guys and girls supporting each other when we do like e- mass events, like a mm. mass meetup, you know, and under the the umbrella of the radio station. Uh, we see all of them singing together, supporting each other. A lot of them come from different schools. A lot of them don't know each other, but they became longtime friends. And okay. we're talking about, you know, like back in 2012, 2011, when One Direction was was um, doing the, the thing. I know of fans back then who are now friends together mm. today and they're working at different parts, different places here in Singapore, but they're still friends. Similarly for, for K-pop as well, you know, uh, recently I went, went to Korea for uh, Seventeen Junket. Um, this, this, this is a band called Seventeen, right? And uh, when, I, when I did like a mini uh, meetup, I found out that a lot of a lot of the fans they don't know each other. They, they they're from different age groups. Mm. One of them is only sixteen. Another one is working already. Another one's a mother. They 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 meet each other, you know, to actually plan plan stuff. Um, and besides that as well, they 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 talk to each other, you know, and support each other in life. So I don't think being in a fandom is a negative thing. It's only negative if let's say you are gonna choose. You know, other fans. You you choose to actually be in a toxic group of fans, and this is similar. This is the same as you know when you you're in school as well. Right. It's up to, to choose who you want to be with. If yeah, you yeah. are choosing somebody in a group where you know this person is popular and therefore I want to I want to you know go with him or her, then that's that's your choice. Right. But but if you're in a good group, if you're in a good you know set of click in a fandom, I think that's that's definitely okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right. Um, okay. Then. Okay. I I have this question that I've been itching to ask you <laughs> since just now, mm-hmm. um, because as a musician myself, um, I just want to know like all this K-pop thing, right? Is it more than the music, or are there other things that actually um, causes like cause this connection with the fans? Like, what is it about like this? Is it just the music, or is it just mm-hmm. is it more than that? Yeah. I. Um, I guess to for for different people. Uh, okay, let me ask Rachel first. Rachel, yeah. why do you like BTS? Why uh? I, Is it the music? Is it what what, what pinpoint one thing? <laughs> it it was their performance because I mm. went to I went to Korea with one of our colleagues, Kane. Yeah, and then we we managed to catch BTS there, even though we were very far. But I saw how they performed, and I was like, wow, wow, this is damn good. This is really, really mm-hmm. good. And then we went back. <laughs> we went back and then we watched like uh, the variety shows and stuff. And I got very drawn to the personalities. Mm. Yeah, especially J-Hope. <laughs> so that, that, that was something that I, I, I thought was very fascinating. La. Yeah. And they're very real. That's what I like. So, so J-Hope was your bias? La. Yeah. <laughs> For Joan, bias means um, like the, the, the one member that you, that you like. Uh, you like. Ah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay. Okay. <laughs> well, right. exactly what Rachel has said. You know, uh, right. I, 
I strongly believe that if I were to just receive K-pop as just the, just the music, um, it is going to be a little bit different. I receive K-pop as a whole, you know, from mm. the videos, from right, the experience, right. mm. from their, their V-lives, mm. from, from their tweets, although I don't understand Korean, but I get people to translate for me. You know, the, you, you, you get soaked in and you suddenly feel like you're, you're one of them. You're, you're like, the, like the friend. And can I just say that um, K-pop members, you know, they are very good at talking to fans. Mm. They really know how to, to talk to you. Um, I'm saying this because uh, m- my wife son- sometimes will tell me stuff, right? And wow, these people really talk to you as if you know you're their girlfriend eh? <laughs> and stuff that I want to learn. Eh? Like, I want to know how to be such a romantic person. But um, it's all those different things. Of course, I don't get drawn by that, but you know, I get drawn by a lot of other things. So you can't really pinpoint right, right. You know, why K-pop works. It's a mm. lot of different things. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and this is not just one band. This is an evolution from mm. from a long time ago. Yeah, of I course. Guess. No TVXQ and stuff like that as well. Yeah, DBSK, yeah. man. Yeah. <laughs> so, so all the way. Th- this is this is a culture that um I wasn't I wasn't aware of before <laughs> two years ago. But mm. now that I know, wow, it's 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 a positive culture. Yeah, 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 yeah. I think okay, let's move to some some comments and questions from the so I've I've seen this really interesting one from Sung Hwan Steve Park. Um, he uh, they are South, They're saying that they are also a South Korean. So uh, they say that I feel that K-pop has both its ups and downs, and has it has exposed South Korean culture globally, and yet it has also reviewed the reviewed the dark slash bad sides of K-pop industry and the Korean society. But happy to see the majority focus on the positive sides of Korea. Thanks so much, everyone. Stay safe, stay hey, strong. Thank you, Sung Hwan. Shout out. It's really, really sweet. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, that's yeah, true. We we cannot um ignore that you know there are a few negative points, but if if we are in a fandom where everybody supports each other and promote that positivity, I think you know that that could turn around. Mm. Um, don't be don't be too triggered. I mean, I totally understand when people try to, when other people try to trigger you, you might you might you want want to defend, but don't just. Just say one time and then stop it. <laughs> you know, right, right. <laughs> move on with your life. Yeah, move on, move on because yeah. don't, don't 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 engage too much. Yeah, it's like your boss call you at work already, right? Then you cry fifteen minutes, right? Then you come back to work. <laughs> then but you the move one, on. The one I might <laughs> engage for three years, huh? But anyway. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, yeah. yeah. Yeah, just a lot of uh, K-pop fans in the in the comments as well. So thank thank you for watching. Right. Jasmine, there are two Jasmine. Uh, Jasmine Ong, Jasmine Yo, Bella, Joey, yeah. All right, Gerald. Actually, um, so just some final words, right? Um, okay. I think I want to ask, like, is K-pop for everyone? And for those who are not op- like open to like listen to K-pop, um, I'm not saying it's me, so don't come at me. <laughs> <laughs> I, are they missing out? Um, like, should they be jumping on the bandwagon, or what do you think? You know, you know what? I think to each his own. Um, right. You know, different people would would um, want to actually receive this is a form of entertainment, right? Mm. Like, like I'm not a gamer, but right, I right. see a lot of hardcore gamers, and yeah. you cannot you cannot just tell somebody, hey, you know what? You need to be a gamer. Come join me and play play a game. Mm, mm, mm. Similarly for for K-pop as well. You know, um, I I don't think people should force somebody to accept K-pop, but um. Everyone should be, you know, show respect to whatever they like, lah. You know, if let's say, mm. uh, my wife likes to cook, I cannot tell her, hey, stop cooking, uh, please. Can you, <laughs> can you play games? I can't do that, right? Mm. So whether or not they're missing out, I feel, um, there are a lot of things in K-pop that that could, could actually, you know, um, increase your, your estrogens, <laughs> <laughs> your your happy cells, you know, uh. If you want to receive them, you can. You can try and you know watch them. But but I'm not saying that everybody will like K-pop. I'm saying, uh, yeah, it's just you know like 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 what I've said. You know, if you don't like to game, then you don't like to game, and it it's not wrong. Right. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Oh, and okay. I guess if you really want to start to understand K-pop a little bit more, mm. uh, don't, 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 you know, be soaked in different kinds of bands. Start off with one, Rachel can help you out, you know, she'll <laughs> tell you more about BTS and how, 
Hosok, I mean, sorry, J-Hope is, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, what, what he's like, and then you, you slowly start to know more, I mean, right, right. Uh, and, and, and yeah, that's, that's why I feel. Mm-hmm. All right. Gerald, thank you so much for sharing with no us problem, your experience Gerald. as a K-pop fan. I think Juan has definitely learned a lot. Yeah, I'll yeah. him later what he has learned. Yeah. But yeah. I think you've given Name us... Name one a, member from BTS, Juan. Uh, RM. Ah, oh, yeah. I got it. <laughs> no, he only knows because the producer who's producing this is a big RM fan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. All right. Oh, la. Okay. Gerald, I think just now you meant endorphins, not estrogen. Sorry. <laughs> Estrogen in? Uh, Trisha pointed it out on the comments. <laughs> Estrogen is a female hormone. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, but I think you've given Endorphin, us a really... Yeah. Happy I think, <laughs> I think you've given us a very fresh perspective while tackling um, this topic. And I hope um, our audience watching have, have also maybe had their opinions a bit more... Uh, I think a better perspective of K-pop yeah, fans in yeah. general and the fandoms, you know, probably it's not it's not that toxic, it's not that crazy or whatever, there are some good to it. I think as long as at the end of the day, you are a decent human being to people. Yeah, yeah yes. you are just, if you like something, sure, just be a decent human being, don't be mean, don't don't be a terrible yeah. person and spread love, man, not hate. Be, life, right? Yeah. 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 Thank you, Gerald. No problem. <laughs> Thanks, Gerald. Okay, See you yeah, soon. Thank yeah, you. See you. Okay. Bye. Say bye, to you now. bye. Say bye to Gerald in the comments. You can wave. Bye, right? Gerald. Spam the wave button. If you're a big fan of Cravity, wow. You can send some like one on one GIFs or something. I, I'm, I'm now standing Cravity, this new band. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Gerald. Bye. Bye, Gerald. Bye. Okay. Okay. Hey, wait, wait. So, John, talk, yes. talk, talk, right? Yeah. What have you learned today? Um, I think I definitely have a better perspective of the fandom. Um, whether or not will I be a K-pop fan or a stan, I highly doubt so. Because honestly, I would say that I can admire or respect the fact that they have the energy to do this. Like, you know, now that I think of it, right, as, as, as aggressive as they are about promoting their favourite bands, Mm. That actually takes out a lot of time and energy, right? You know, mm. if you think about it, like mm. they actually have to dedicate a part of their life to do that, and to mm. do that for like um a musical artist is actually something that um it's respectable. Yeah, it, it's it's commendable, mm-hmm. and um may on, yeah I can agree with Jerry when he said that it, it might not be for everybody, um but at the end of the day, you know, if you like the music, you know. Like, I, I'm not surprised if one day I will be listening to Blackpink. Uh, <laughs> in fact, I I mean, as much as I, I say that I, I'm I'm not a K-pop fan or whatever, but I have listened to K-pop music whether or not I want to or not. Lah. That, I mm. think that is how big their music has has has, has reached. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. yeah, that's my main takeaway from today. Do you want some recommendations on, like, K-pop bands to listen to? Then the sure. audience can recommend yeah. in the comments. Recommend me some songs to listen yeah. to. For for yeah. me, I will recommend uh, BTS um, on. <laughs> on. Very good. Okay. Yeah, BTS okay. on. Um, and flying, which is a very good group that I also happened to find in Korea. I had a similar experience with Jared. Right. I watched that. I'm like, oh, who is this? <laughs> So yeah. But I know this you, song though. I know Roly Poly Roly Poly Poly. That's a quite an old song. From I'm an old school K pop fan. I, I I'm also an old school K pop fan. I know Tiara, I know Wonder Girls. Wonder Girls? Yeah. Wonder Girls. Oh yeah, one Wonder Girls. <laughs> <laughs> Wonder. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Some uh they are saying um Haru Big Bang. And also I think just now um, Lauren was saying Ghost Generation. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, Ghost, yeah, if you know Ghost Generation. Sure. If you don't know yeah. Ghost Generation, I'll be very disappointed in you. So yeah. Okay, okay I, I think I the comments now. got yeah, the comments got quite a few like go and see. Okay, and I will. Thank you so much. Oh, I saw Day Six. I saw Thank Day you. Six. I'm actually oh, a fan six, of Day Six. Day Six is very very good. I also like Day Six. Yeah, How could I'm I a fan of Day Six. Mm-mm-mm. Yeah, Day Six is great. Okay, yeah. I think thank you guys for for tuning in to this live stream. But I more hope. comments. I need more songs. I need more songs. Come on, give me more comments, more songs. Okay, even after 
Even after you know we leave, I'll be looking at the comments to listen. So you guys will be influencing my K-pop music taste. Okay, so keep also, the comments coming. Yeah, I think also right. Uh, after this, when we leave, there will be a song that plays. Um, and it's actually sung by this fella over here, Juan. It's his voice. Oh, hey. <laughs> yeah, I think if it, if I'm not wrong, it's the "Stay Home, Stay Home, Make Baby." Yeah, that's he. He made a song of our comment section, <laughs> so it will be playing right after this. So you can listen to it. Yeah. See you at the you next session. Leave, session. leave comments on other things we should talk about, and we will I can see. share. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night. Thank you. Bye bye. Good night.